Arkham City is on another level of pain. Arkham City is way worse to get the platinum. Arkham City really made me question my sanity. I gotta find out if these comments are true, so I just loaded up Arkham City for the first time to get the platinum. And obviously the first step is playing through the story. I think I played on normal difficulty because it didn't matter. I would have to do a new game plus playthrough later on anyways. And it was fun, taking on various boss fights, doing stealth sections. I felt at home because I had just made the Arkham Knight video a couple months ago and I was already familiar with the combat. Playing through the story on normal is not where the difficulty lies in this game. And by the end of this process, I had 16 of the trophies needed for the platinum already. All right, so the game is done. Right now, I'm gonna focus on doing side missions. Those are these blue exclamation points around the map. I have to complete all of them. Probably gonna take me a while, but let's do it. Here's one where they had me fighting dudes wearing rabbit heads. Stop the clock, let's go. And this side mission had me solving my first Riddler puzzle. IQ test, solve the first riddle. Now here's where things get scary because in order to get the platinum, I would end up having to solve 400 total riddles. I thought the ones from Arkham Knight were hard enough and we would have to deal with those in a minute. But first I had to deal with all the rest of the side missions. Stuff like saving citizens. All right, we gotta save this dude. He's being like harassed over here. So all we do is take out the guy harassing him and punch him, kick him, do whatever we gotta do. And we get aggravated assault. Investigating murder scenes, tracing phone calls, nothing difficult. All right, well, as you can see, all these side missions are done except for one, Enigma Conundrum. And for this one, I have to do all the riddles. We've got some here on the map, but these are not even close to all of them. I'm gonna spend a very long time on this. After finishing 80 riddles, the game made me solve this tiny riddle in order to go save a hostage afterwards. And this is a pattern throughout the game. You solve 80 riddles, it then asks you to solve a smaller riddle, which then leads you to a hostage to save for a trophy. The more there is, the less you see. What could I be? Angriness? No. Dark room? Darkness? The more there is, the less you see. I think that's darkness. I think the answer to this is darkness. Okay, answer riddle. Yes, it was correct. Okay, so now we go to this location and we need to save the hostage and we'll get a trophy. Okay, so we have to solve this riddle. We're gonna stand on this panel. There's the hostage, it looks like. Okay, oh, they're doing that thing where you, okay, it's on the right. It went back, it's in the, it's on the left, right, left, back. I think it's in the middle. I think it's this one. I am right. No way! Is he dead? Oh, they killed him. Oh, oh, RP. All right, I'm gonna try this again. I don't know if it's like bound to be one spot or if it's random. If it's like fixed to be that one spot, then I just have to go left. So we're gonna go left this time and we'll find out if it's fixed or not. What? <clears throat> Bro, he has to be in the middle. Like I literally followed that thing. It has to be in the middle. If I get this wrong one more time! Wow, I just realized I've been getting played this whole time. I looked at the trophy guide, apparently he's a cheater and you just need to use detective mode. Yeah, look, with detective mode, you can see right through it. Wow, that's unbelievable. Here, come here, buddy, I'm here to save you. All right, Baldy, you're safe with me. We got mastermind. And I just kept saving each hostage, getting those trophies until I decided to do the combat related riddles. Okay, as you can see, I'm 420 out of 440 total riddles. 12 more and these are the last ones I need. Now all these are combat related riddles. Take down an enemy using the Sonic Shock Batarang. Perform a knockout smash. Finish a fight with a combo battering, things like that. There is a hostage here I have to save, but we're gonna get to that after I finish these last riddles. So I'm here in this like underground subway system place or whatever, and there's like two riddles for me to solve here. Or right, like two combat related riddles I have to do here. The Sonic Shock Batarang like I mentioned earlier. But I also have to use the remote electrical charge to temporarily disable a backpack jammer device. So we're gonna scan the area and this is the dude right here. You see that guy? Yep, he's the one. So I think we just shoot him. And yeah, there it goes. Riddler, Riddler challenge complete. Now we run. Or not run, but swing. They have no idea where he has no idea where he got shot from. Okay, so while we're here, we're gonna use the sonic batarang to take out an enemy. So I suppose we can throw this maybe there. And I don't know if that's gonna take him out. I have no idea how this stuff works. That didn't work on him. I have to wait for this thing to recharge. Oh wait, no, it's a detonation thing. Okay, hold on. I, I think I know what to do. Maybe we should relocate. Let's swing over here. And yeah, this, this guy, we're gonna catch this man right here, bro. Detonate. Yes, it worked. We also need to perform knockout smashes. So what I'm gonna do is creep up behind these dudes and 
see like this guy right here it's gonna say silent takedown as i'm choking them out knockout smash boom perfect now they're gonna come because they heard that so we got to dip okay and we do that a few more times and we should have this one done as well we're gonna take this man out silent takedown it doesn't let me knock out smash him whoa that sounded kind of weird <laughs> i don't know why it didn't let me knock out smash that dude all right let's try on this dude it's not letting me knock out smash wait did, wait did that count i don't know i have no idea okay we're creeping up on this dude and there we go we got performer knockout smash five of them for some reason i don't know it was being weird Okay, I officially need only one more riddle to get this done. It's been several days of me doing all of these. But for this one, I have to complete one claw climb using at least eight separate leaps without missing the timing for a single jump. This is done with Catwoman, so there's this tall thing right here. I'm gonna, whoops, I jumped to the wrong place. I'm gonna try to do it right here. If not, another location. Here we go. Press R1. Okay. Okay, maybe that didn't work. Wait three four five six seven eight okay it didn't work here I, I have another location i can do this at okay this is the next location where we're gonna try to get this done so we're gonna press r1 here two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven that was like yes we have the trophy sphinx riddle complete all of the 40 catwoman riddler grid items okay i wasn't even going for that but that's good that we got that all the riddles are done and now that they were i can save the last hostage for the final hostage trophy okay i've made it to the last riddler hostage location there's a bunch of people here like i don't know what they're doing but i'm just gonna try to not uh, get too close to them because i just did and like they died so i'm gonna take it slow and try to make my way through this. Okay. Riddler's right here. Take him down. Just like this. Let's go. All right, we knocked him out. It can't be that simple. I guess it was that simple. We got genius. Okay, so far this platinum has not lived up to the hype at all. Maybe things will take a change here in this next step. What you're seeing right here are ranked challenges. And for these next three trophies, I need to get 24, 48, and 72 medals on these. Now I already have three on the first one and that one was pretty easy. Okay, so I just loaded into this one so I can show you what it's like. So I need what, 32,000? For the highest score my main objective here is to not take damage maintain a combo use a variety of gadgets and such so i can like obviously get more score and that is the game plan oh you see i already messed up very dumb decision to me to you do a ground takedown in the middle of a combo but hey, hopefully we can still get the 32,000. So we got 990 total score for that round, kind of bad. Round two, they're gonna spawn in some more enemies and some different types of enemies. So this dude is swinging at me with the knife. Funny if you thought I was gonna get hit by that. Nice, good stuff. What? Okay, that's fake. Stupid. Huh, the fire extinguisher dropped in his head. I got hit by a sledgehammer and like, it didn't make any sense though. Cause like I punched him. Where's the, yeah. couldn't find this last guy. Okay, I don't know. We're not doing too well. We might have to redo it. We're at almost 6,000 score after the second round. Here's the third one. And I already took damage. Once I get into a flow on this, it'll be like super easy. Because obviously playing Arkham Knight as much as I did helps with uh, helps with me knowing the combo. I, I broke the combo. Okay, so we have 18,000 score that at least puts us at the second tier. And we have one more round to go. I don't know if I can get... The amount of score i need for this last round like i'm saying i might have to redo this but this is just to show you what these are like i'm gonna try to maintain my combo throughout the entirety of the round i definitely can if i'm just like if i'm just locked in got him no he punched me man but look i have 41,000 score i'm not <laughs> i shouldn't even be worried i got three i guess question marks three i don't know what they're called and look at that, we end off with 46,000, so we beat it by a nice margin. And we do that until we get 72 medals. So I went through completing the easiest combat challenges I could do so I can get those three medals as easily as possible. But the later challenges were not so easy. For now though, they were. Bronze Revenge, let's go! And it was on my journey to getting 48 medals when things started to get more interesting and difficult. What the heck? That man just went flying in the air! He, he just, nah. 
and it was on this challenge when i started to realize maybe these comments were actually true i had to take on this large group of enemies but not only were there normal enemies there were two huge brutes and one of those one-armed guys who swing the swords around and i was so low on health bro i'm gonna die no oh, oh i got on top let's go come on we gotta take these dudes out i'm one shot Okay, he's down. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. One more. Yeah, I clutched up and I was one shot. And I got the three. Oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. Man, that was close. Eventually, I ran out of combat maps to get medals for. So the next ones were predator maps. On these, you go in stealth mode and you take out enemies under certain conditions to get medals. And some of these are punishingly difficult as you'll see in a bit. Silver revenge. This one right here was one of the first ones to give me some major struggles. For three medals, you have to one, take down all of the henchmen without taking any damage. Number two, kick one henchman while on the line launcher, then fire the line launcher again from the current line and kick a different henchman. And number three, use a boosted remote battering to knock a henchman over an edge. If I do all these three, I get three medals. Come on, let's, let's go. Okay. No, this guy's gonna see me. Please. No! He shot me. Come on, come on, come on. Fall over! Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on. Teesh! Oh, this is pissing me off. Come on, come on. Yes. Okay. That's one. There's no way he shoots me. There's no way he shoots me. Yes, yes, yes! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, now I just need to get through this without taking any damage. I think there's what? How many hostiles left? Six hostiles remaining, six of them, and they're all armed with guns. So I have to be very careful about this. Okay, which ones are armored and which ones are not? Because the ones that are armored, I can't sneak up behind to just take out. I'm disabling these guys' guns, at least two of their guns. I think I can take this guy out. Oh no. Okay, we can take this guy out. No! But obviously I tried again and got back to the point where all I needed to do was take out all the enemies without any damage. Okay, now we just need to get through the rest of this inverted takedown on this guy. Potentially. Yes. We got one. Dip, 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 dip. We gotta dip. We gotta dip. Okay. We got this dude. Ah, we got this guy too. We're doing great. We're doing great. Three hostiles remaining. We can take this dude out right here. Silent takedown. Yes. Oh, this guy has a hostage. Two people left, one of them has a hostage. Okay, we're gonna sneak up behind him right here. Silent takedown on this guy. One more enemy, and he's the one with the hostage. So we're sneaking, try to sneak up behind him. What am I supposed to do? Okay, yes, like this. Ooh. Be put the beats on that dude. Finally got the three, let's go. Eventually I found myself with two out of three medals on this last predator challenge I needed for 72 and the trophy. Yes, we got him. Okay, one last dude and we have to make sure we beat him down. Take down a henchman with a beat down. I know exactly how to do this. First off, let me disable his gun. Just in case he wants to shoot me, I'm disabling his gun. Yeah, he's done. He can't do anything. This is a GG. I'm gonna get my trophy. He has no idea I'm behind him. Hit him with this. And then with the eight trigrams, 64 palms. Let's go. Finally, that's over with, man.
we get gold revenge now we still have to get 108 total medals on the campaigns as well but i figured why not mix it up and go for the miscellaneous and combat trophies before we get to that that will be another beast we have to tackle itself and so i was doing that and everything was going fine until i came across this combat trophy that really really tested me for this you have to use all of the available combat moves in one combo here is a list of them all this is so frustrating because i would have like one or two moves left to complete and i would mess up somehow i feel like i've done all of them oh we didn't do a ground takedown Come on. No, I broke the combo. Wow, I messed up, man. That's so annoying. Keep in mind, you can see my combo at the top left. If that resets, then that means I messed up. My strategy for this trophy was to save the ground takedown for last because it's a very slow attack and you can get hit while actually doing it, which would ruin the combo. Anytime I'm about to do a ground takedown, it also means I'm about to get the trophy. And the last one is a ground takedown. Oh my gosh, I got punched right at the end. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to beat this. I don't know how to get this trophy, man. I jumped. Uh. You know, when you start enunciating words with uh at the end, you're really annoyed. There's got to be something to make this easier. Nevertheless, I kept trying and I was switching maps to see if any of these would be easier. But to be honest, it was probably a skill issue. Do the... Oh my gosh, bro. I think all we have to do is do a ground takedown at this point. So we just... <sighs> Come on! Like, this... How do I avoid that? Please! I would love to know! Because, like, that's the only thing that's stopping me. Is I always get interrupted in the middle of my attack. And here I had a good attempt. There was only a few enemies left, and I was locked in, not saying a word. Come on! Is this it? Yes! Perfect free flow 2.0! <laughs> Finally! Man, that was so annoying! Okay, so now it's time for me to do campaign challenges. These three trophies are all related to them, and in order for me to get all three of them, I need 108 total medals. These campaigns are very similar to the rank challenges I was doing before, but here you have to do three in order to complete a full campaign, and obviously try to get three medals on each individual one. And there's also modifiers here throughout. Some of them are beneficial, some of them are detrimental, but you have to use all of them throughout the campaign at some point. And so we're going to do this predator challenge, and we should get the 36 medal trophy after this. While in the floor grade, perform a takedown on a henchman, back claw a henchman and pull him off a walkway to take him down perform a takedown through a weak wooden wall i think i know how we can do this we can uh come right here and we might be able to pull this dude like this yep perfect we might be able to do the wooden wall takedown right here yes this guy right here got him let's go just get inside the wooden or i was gonna say the wooden grate get inside the grate here take one down and then we should have this done Oh my gosh, he saw me. We gotta go. We gotta go. Come on. Keep walking this way. Keep walking this way. Keep walking this way. Yes, got him. Boom. All right, we got three medals. Now we just need to take out the rest of the dudes and we will get this trophy. There's what, four guys remaining? We can take out this guy right here. Take out the second. Okay, this guy saw me, but it's okay. Because... He's not going to be able to take me out. And then I'm just going to disable this guy's gun so he can't shoot me. Ha! Huh, idiot. Use your fists, dummy. And that's it. We're going to get our trophy. So we got three medals on each individual level of this campaign. Here it says retries. So you get three tries at this. If I'm on the third level of the campaign and I end up failing three times and have to restart from the beginning, but that didn't happen this time. Let's get our trophy campaign bronze. And of course, I just kept playing through the campaigns and earning more medals as we went. And it was not easy at all. I went through quite the struggle to get some of these. And you can see that by my reaction to finally getting 72 medals for that trophy. Let's go. I beat it. Oh, man. We got campaign silver! Before getting campaign gold, the last of the campaign trophies, I decided to do the new game plus playthrough. Twice nightly! New game plus is done! So the last thing I need to do for the platinum trophy is to complete this one campaign right here. These are all combat challenges, three of them in one campaign, so hopefully this is not too bad, but we'll see. And this is the last one. We need 48,000 score in order to win this and get this platinum. Going into the last round, we have 38,000. We need 48,000. We just need 10,000 score for this round. And then the platinum is ours. 
We got the 48,000. Let's go. Now, once we finish this, we'll get the platinum. 70,000 score. We press continue. We get campaign gold. No way I'm missing something. No way I'm missing something. I have to figure this out. Oh, I didn't do this one. I didn't do this one side mission. I'm an idiot. All right, well, it's as simple as me just go retrieving an item somewhere here in the steel mill. Oh my gosh, there's enemies here. He didn't see me. Blind, look at that, blind. All of them blind. They just had no clue that I just flew right over their heads. Oh my gosh, I gotta fight dudes. I don't wanna fight anyone. I have to though. All right, the fight is over. And I think the item we need to grab for the platinum is somewhere here. Collect freeze technology, yes. Side mission complete. There's no way. How do I still not have the- Bro, this is, this is a joke. Oh, okay, I just had to, it had to trigger a save. We get perfect night day two. And yes, Batman Arkham City's platinum trophy, finally. Apparently this took me 166 hours. How does this compare to Arkham Knight's Platinum Trophy? I think this is actually harder than Arkham Knight if you don't do Arkham Knight's DLC. But I did Arkham Knight's DLC and the entire Platinum experience in this video right here if you haven't seen it.